So for the next little while, we're going to take a quick look at some of the new features in Media Central and Cloud UX. Uh, now, if you're not familiar with Media Central Cloud UX, um, it's a browser-based um, application. So it's running here um, on Google Chrome on my, my machine. Um, and what you see along the top are a variety of different apps that you would use, um, depending on what your workflow is. You know, you might use a combination of them. You might only use one or two. Uh, you might use one on its own. It really depends what your workflow is. It's really, really flexible flexible. Um, so let's take a look at some of those great search um, features that uh, that Regis was talking about. And then we'll come back to look at Media Central Collaborate on mobile um, as well. Um, but let's go to the search app. Okay, the search app obviously allows me to search against any or all of the different systems that we have within uh, an Avid Media Central environment. That could be your newsroom system, you know, your iNews system. It could be your Media Central production management system. Some people might still call it interplay um, as it was um, in the past. So as we just mentioned, you know, what are some of the, the big features here? So there's three that we're going to look at. One is search and folder. One is the new super pill. And the other is the new display of um, search results that you can get. And these are all uh, designed to help you search, find things faster, get your work done quicker, spend less time, you know, having to trawl through and, and find material um, in the system and really help you get to what you need uh, much quicker and get on with the job. All right, so um, the first thing we're going to have um, a quick look at is search and folder. Now, if you're coming from uh, perhaps an older system that perhaps had um, an application called Interplay Assist, or you're using you know, the, the Media Central Production Management window, the Interplay window inside Media Composer, you're probably quite familiar with the ability of going in and searching in a particular folder. So this just allows you to be more specific with your search and rather than searching across the whole system. So this has been a big um, customer request. We're really delighted that we've now introduced that in here. So what you see in the search app is I have this button here for all um, systems. Uh, I'm just going to show you just a quick example. I'm going to search for the word Cypress and just run a search. Now, this is running across everything. So you can see, you know, I get lots and lots of different results um, that are coming from lots of different places um, in the, the, the Media Central system that, I, that I've got. And maybe this is what I want. You know, I want to, to search across everywhere. So absolutely, you know, you can continue to do that. But perhaps I want to be more specific. I want to just search inside a particular folder because I know that that's where the media is going to come in. So, for example, perhaps I've got an ingest folder um, and I just want to look inside the, the ingest folder and I want to search against something that's coming in there. That's one of the things that you can do. So what I can do here is just click on where it says all systems. And this actually shows me all of the folders I've got permission to see, uh, in this case, in my Media Central production management system. Uh, and I just want to search, for example, uh, inside this folder that's called, you know, rights free media that I've got. So I can now just select that, still search for the word Cypress, just run the search again. Um, and this time what you see is I just get the result from that particular folder. So it's a great way of really you know, narrowing this down uh, to just search inside that one particular folder um, itself. Now, if I wanted to, uh, I could, of course, uh, create and save this as a favorite. You can see I've already done that here. Um, but let me just show you another example here where I've set up here a search uh, to a particular folder, but I've not actually added in what I want to search for. So when I just select that, it finds me everything that's in that particular folder. You could, of course, now go in, because you could have folders with thousands of items in them. You could, of course, now go in and be more specific, you know, perhaps about what it is that you actually want to search for. So search in folder, real time saver, decide which folder you want to search in, put in your search term. And you could, of course, have multiple search terms that you're searching for as well. Just going to clear this out now, uh, because I want to now show you the super pill. So the super pill. You see, when I now open up the search terms here, I have this option to enable the super pill. So why is this important? Well, in the past, if I wanted to search against metadata and the name of a file, for example, or perhaps in markers and segments, I could do that. But I had to open up each um, of these different search terms individually, type in what I want to search against, and then run the search. And of course, I may be looking for the same word in each of these different areas. But now with the super pill enabled, I can choose any of these metadata fields that I want to search against. 
Okay, and I'm not just limited to this is the quick list here. If I click on more, it shows me any of the attributes on any of our systems. So I'm going to search in the name of a file. Um, I also want to search, for example, in markers and segments. Maybe I want to look for some logs here um, as well. Maybe I want to search for the creator. And all this is doing is it's adding all of these search terms now into the super pill. So when I come in here and I search for the word volcano, and hit return, it's now searching all of these different um, clips to find those terms. Okay, so it's searching in the name, it's searching in markers and segments, it's searching in lots and lots of different things. So you can see here that it's obviously brought up a clip called Volcano Island because I was searching for volcano in the name, but it's also brought up this clip called Stromboli. You might think, well, why has it brought that up? Well, if you remember, one of the searches I was doing was searching in markers and segments. So I'm searching in the logs that have been added for this particular clip. Uh, and so in Media Central Cloud UX, you have the ability of viewing your search results here. Uh, and this is one of the things that Regis mentioned about the new display that we have here. So if I just click on this button here, um, it's now going to show me all of the attributes for this particular search. And this is what's new. So in here, I can now see where all of these uh, markers that have been added, where they are relative in the timeline of this particular clip. And also I can see restrictions here. Now here I'm selecting to show all of the attributes, so everything that I've been searched here, but I could just look for only hits. And when I do that, it then just shows me where the world volcano is, because remember, volcano is what I searched for. It's not available in the metadata, it's not in the name or anything like that. It's just here um, in the markers themselves. I can open this back up again. Now, if I wanted to go to this particular clip at this particular point, all I need to do is to double click on the clip. And that then loads the clip at this specific time code, 100406, which as you can see here um, is the time code. And it takes me straight to it as well. Equally, if I wanted to go to the restriction, which is this part here that's marked in red with the text that's here, then you know it would take me directly to that as well. So those are some of the new search features, search in folder, the super pill, um, and the, the new display um, as well. Really great time-saving features get you to where you need to be you know, much quicker. So let's take a look at the rundown app now and look at some of the new functionality that's been added there as well. So one of the requests that we've had from customers is to enable more producer type functionality into the Rundown app to allow more people to do more work um, in a web browser like we have here, rather than doing that necessarily inside of the iNews client, which you might be familiar with. So there's a couple of things we've added in here. The first is the ability to view and to add timing information uh, and to then see the calculations of that, both for back time, as you can see here. So back time is counting from the end of the show back to the top, and also for cumulative time, which can time from the start of the show uh, to the end. So you can now see here in the back time column, I can see all of the times for when these items um, are due to start because the text is in red here, indicating to me the show is a little bit over. And of course, all of these timing and uh, timing information will dynamically update um, as, um, as the show goes on. If new stories are added, if stories are removed, then you know that will update as well. The other thing that's also been added, if I go to the, the drop-down list that we have here, is in the last version of Media Central, we introduced the ability to renumber individual stories or all the stories but we've now added the ability of viewing the show timing clocks, which I'm going to bring up. We're obviously not on air at the moment, um, but what this shows me is time of day, but it also then shows me counting the, the length of time counting down to the individual item I'm on at the moment, the time to the end of the show, and then how much over or under I am. So when a show is live and the timing is being done by, you know, some of the production assistant, for example, in the gallery, and they're using the iNews client to do that, I would get a live dynamic update here showing me that live timing information as well. So that's another feature that's been added here in Media Central Cloud UX in the Rundown app to enable the ability to, to see timing information while we're planning the show, and then also to see the show timing information when the show um, itself is actually on air. 
Okay, so next thing we're going to have a look at is the Media Central Collaborate app uh, and the updates that uh, have taken place there as well. Okay, so here on my phone, I have the Media Central Collaborate app, and I'm going to bring it up. And the first thing that you'll see is that I'm showing the new light mode. So, you know, there used to be a dark mode, there's now a light mode um, as well. And we're looking at the calendar view. So this, again, is something that's new um, in this particular version. So Media Central Collaborate, it's an app for planning, for content sharing, for project tracking. It's available on mobile. It's also available in Media Central Cloud UX and also in Media Composer. It's also available in Adobe After Effects, Photoshop and Premiere Pro as well. So you can really begin to plan and bring teams together. Um, uh, for work that they want to collaborate on. So what we're looking at here is my week view. So I'm seeing this particular week. Um, and here you can see I've specifically chosen uh, a date. Uh, and I could go into that and I can see the assignments for this particular date. I can, of course, go into the assignments. So I can see the couple of assignments that we have here. And if I go into the specific assignment, so perhaps one of the things I want to do is add a team member. So I can choose to edit that. I can go to the team uh, and perhaps I want to add, you know, Regis to this. So there is Regis. I can select him and then I can save him and I can add him as a team member. He would, of course, get a notification. So that's one of the things that we can do. But we can also go in here and we can see media that's linked to this particular assignment as well. So here again are some of our volcano shots. Uh, and if I just tap on uh, one of the shots here, I can then review the video so I can play this back. Um, you know, on my mobile phone. Um, I'm obviously, you know, not in the office. I'm, I'm, I'm out in location um, uh, today. So I'm able to, to view this and I can play it back um, on, my, on my phone. But if I go back to the calendar view, just to show you some other things that you can also do that if I wanted to, you know, I could add new assignments. So I can do this all from here, add new assignments, allocate team members to this, type in information, select due dates uh, and things like this um, as well. And also in the calendar view, I can also view not just the individual day. So I'm looking at, you know, a particular date. I can choose a date span. So here I basically want to see everything for this week. So I'm going to start uh, on the 26th. I'm going to end um, on the 30th. Uh, let me just apply that. And now what you see in the display is I've selected all of the dates. And here are the various assignments that are spanned across this particular week. There are, of course, other filters that you can also add. You can filter by individual people, by the status, even by the department that's involved in it as well. So a lot of new functionality um, in the calendar view in Media Central Collaborate uh, to allow you to, to do some more work um, here as well. So hopefully that's given you a flavor of some of the new things which are part um, of what we can do inside um, of um, um, Media Central with the Media Central Cloud UX and also in Media Central Collaborate. And one other thing I'll mention as well is that this is our latest long-term maintenance um, release um, uh, of Media Central. And there's actually more than 300 features and updates that have been added um, since the last long-term maintenance release, which was 2022.3. So you can see that just highlights the, the range of innovation and the range of new features and functionality that are consistently being added to Media Central as well. 